I have a Costco down quilt here and I've put cam snaps in the foot box so that I can snap the foot box together in two configurations. In the one configuration that I have snapped up here, the cam snaps snap the entire base together. This part here is the opening that's snapped up and then that goes up halfway and then the rest of it's open. So if you were going to use this in a sleeping bag, this would match the sleeping bag. And I'll just undo these snaps so I can show you the other configuration. The second configuration for the top quilt, I've got the seam edge here in the middle that's been snapped together. And it's also snapped along the bottom. And then here it opens. If you were going to be in a hammock and use this as a top quilt, you've got the solid block in front of you, and then the seam here is right along the middle. So this is a foot box configuration with cam snaps for both a top quilt or a sleeping bag. And if you'd like to see how I placed the cam snaps to enable this two configuration, then just keep watching. This is a Costco down throw that I got and I want to put cam snaps in along the bottom so that I can have a foot box. And I'm going to space my cam snaps so that I can do multiple configurations with the foot box. I want to be able to fold it over so that I can have the foot box kind of centered, but then I also want to be able to do it like this so that I can have it snapped along the ends. So to do that, I'm putting my cam snaps along the short end of the quilt and I've marked some spaces here with different colored stickers. The color coding that I'm using is going to help me figure out which snaps are going to be studs and which snaps are going to be sockets. All along the end of my quilt, I have the color-coded stickers so that the yellow stickers are along the seams and the red stickers are in the middle. So from the corner part, which is right here out, it's yellow and red alternating stickers with the yellow along the seam and the red in the middle of the seam all the way down to the end. And the corner here is a yellow sticker. The cam snaps have three parts. There's the heads of the snaps, which are going to be the same regardless if we use the socket or the studs. And the heads just have a small pin on them. And then there are sockets, which are the female end of the snap, and studs. So this is a stud, and this one is the socket. So, so that I don't get confused, I'm just going to label my bag here. I'll put the yellow on the socket and the red on the stud, and then I'll be able to figure out as I am snapping which ones I want on which ones. And doing the cam snaps is really quite easy. I'll show you how to do a couple of them. Here. So I'll do all of my yellows first. So yellows for me today are going to be the sockets. So I will need for the socket a head here and the actual socket part. What you want to do here is push your all through the fabric to make a hole. And this is down and one would think that we normally don't want to punch a hole in down, but the actual snap itself will seal that hole. So once I've got the hole done, I'll just press this head through. The head has a pin and the pin is now coming out the other side. And I am putting the socket on top so that the socket 
is facing up. And then I put it in my cam snap plier with the anvil holding the head and just press down. And that puts the, puts the snap right on there. I mean, it couldn't be easier. Now the stud, which is going to be my red sticker, is identical in process. I'll get one of my studs here. And then I'll also need one of the heads. And I'll take my sticker off. Then I'll put my ball through the fabric. And then as I remove it in that hole that I just made, I'll put my head and the pin of the head comes right through with the fabric on both sides. Look, a little feather is trying to come out. Then I put the stud on and put it in my plier and press down. Now the stud is attached and these two sides can snap together. They can come apart and they're pretty strong. I mean, these cam snaps are very strong. So I'm going to run sockets everywhere I have a yellow sticker. I'm going to put studs everywhere I have a red sticker. And I'm just going to zip up this split box with these cam snaps. I have my alternating cam snaps here in the base of the foot box. And these will allow me to place the fold over portion either in the center of the foot box or I can turn it this way and I can have everything snapping in that direction, which will be no problem. Now to secure up the height of the foot box towards the head end, I've got pairs of my red stickers on one side and then the yellow sticker now here my sticker came off the yellow stickers on this side and so what that'll enable me to do is if I've got it so that my foot box is like this I can then snap these over and seal this edge up like that and then if I have it so that my foot box is sort of centered here. This, these yellow stickers will flip over and I can snap them up like that. So that's the general plan. Now look, my sticker came off again. This is the general plan here for completing the foot box. And then at the head end, I'm going to put one pair of snaps right at each side of the head end. That way I can snap this around my shoulders and then tuck it behind me if I want to. I've got the cam snaps all in. And just to show you what the foot box looks like in this configuration. Everything snapped closed along the end, and then I've got this upper seam snapped in place. And then at the top here, at the very corner by the neck, I just put one snap in so that if I wanted to just snap that top one closed, I could. If you have other ideas or have done other types of footbox configurations for the Costco down throw. I'd really like to see what you've done, so leave me some comments. Thanks.